Gender, Youth, Employment, and Social Inclusion, an online course delivered by the African Institute for Economic Development and Planning, IDEP, of the UNECA, based in Dakar, Senegal, and done in collaboration with UN Women and UNECA Sub-Regional Office for North Africa, Serona. My name is Nkiruka Stella Okonkwa. I'm a lawyer and the course director for this beautiful online course on gender, youth, employment, and social inclusion. On behalf of IDEP, UNECA, UN Women, and Sharona, I warmly welcome you to this stimulating and impactful course delivered in both English and French languages and designed in such a way as to enrich your work in gender, youth, employment, and social inclusion across different levels. To get the full benefits of this course, I urge you to actively participate in all the activities, including doing the assignments, taking the short quiz, uh, quizzes at the end of each module and the final exam. And uh, also encourage you to discuss with the others, peer review comments made by others on the e-platform that IDEP will be given. To ask questions to submit your assignments, especially for the, uh, the English learners, you can send to me at alessijanconsults at gmail.com. Thank you and welcome on board. And once again, congratulations for participating in this amazing course. Introductory session. This session provides a background on IDEP, UN Women and Surana. It discusses the course overview, the objectives, expected outcomes and timeline, and will also highlight guidelines for the coursework, discussions, assignments that you will be expected to, to do, uh, which we'll be discussing in the next few minutes. It is expected that by the end of this module, you would have gained deeper understanding of the course, especially as you are experts in the field, you are also practitioners in the field, you also have opportunity to gain understanding of the structure and relevance of the course to your organizational work and general impact on gender, youth, employment, and social inclusion across Africa. IDEP, the um, synonym for African Institute for Economic Development and Planning is a Pan-African institution created in 1962 by the UN General Assembly for the building, upgrading, and or updating of technical aptitudes and proficiencies of mid-career and senior government officials in economic management and development planning. At the moment, IDEP functions as a subsidiary body of the UNACA and has its headquarters in Dakar, Senegal. You can visit the site to get more um, info on IDEP. United Nations Entity for Gender Equality and the Empowerment of Women, UN Women, was created in July 2010 by the UN General Assembly as a UN organization that is dedicated to promoting gender equality and empowerment of women and girls across the globe. UN Women has the mandate to support intergovernmental bodies in formulating their policies, global standards and norms, as well as helps member states to implement these standards, standing ready to provide suitable technical and financial support, especially to countries that are in need of such support. You can visit the site to get more details about uh, the UN women, especially their work within the African continent. UNECA Sub-Regional Office for North Africa is among the five regional offices of the Economic Commission for Africa that has the responsibility of promoting economic and social development of member states foster intra-regional integration and promote international cooperation for Africa's development. In order to serve member states within the North African sub-region better, the focus of Serona is to contribute to achieving structural transformation and balanced development through the implementation of an environment that is conducive to the creation of employment for women 
and young people in North Africa. You can visit the site to get more details about Sharona. And then in the live class for module one, you also have opportunity to engage directly with the staff. And then you also have opportunity to listen to the audio recording of module one uh, from one of the staff of the UNECA Sharona. Background and rationale for this course. Africa is currently the world's youngest region and young people under 25 years old constitute 60% of the population. It is estimated that by 2030, almost one fifth of the global labor force and nearly one third of the global youth labor force will be from the African region. And this is why it is important that we are having this course. Also, Closing gender gaps is essential in realizing the Sustainable Development Goals um, under the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda, particularly the Sustainable uh, Development Goal 5 that promotes gender equality and empowerment of all women and girls, and Goal 8 that promotes inclusive and sustainable economic growth, employment, and decent work for all. The course has been designed by IDEP in order to equip you as policy leaders, decision makers and practitioners and experts in the field with the necessary skills, tools and mechanisms to enhance gender and youth employment programming and policy making in Africa with a special focus on advancing young women's empowerment, employment and social inclusion. For so the approach, each model has been designed with interactive lessons and contents that are user-friendly and participatory to enable you to self-assess your understanding through the assignments, the discussions, the live classes, the short quizzes, the evaluations, including exams. It is expected that at the end, we will have these four learning outcomes. One, and improve knowledge of gender and youth employment programming and policy making in Africa, with a special focus on advancing young women's empowerment, employment, and social inclusion. Increase collaboration between the youth movement and the women's movement to ensure strengthened intergenerational partnerships for gender equality and social inclusion. Empowering young people as partners to achieving gender equality and social inclusion. And finally, ensuring that equal economic opportunities are available to and barriers to economic participation are removed for young women in order to create entrepreneurial and employment prospects for young women, as well as advocating for gender responsive social protection to ensure full participation of women and young people in the labor market with access to public care, child care, and long-term care services. At the end of the, the five weeks intensive course, learners who meet the 70% pass mark in the final exam and have completed all the course-related assignments and quizzes will be issued with a certificate of completion by IDEP. It is expected that within the course of these five weeks, you would have submitted your assignments that will be in form of case studies, strategy documents, policy briefs, advocacy messages, essays, and would, you would have contributed on the, the weekly discussions on the e-platform, as well as taking the quizzes and the final exams and the cost impact survey. As earlier indicated, this is an interesting and exciting five weeks intensive uh, online course. For week one, this week, we will be looking at two modules, the introductory module so that you have a background of the course and then module one, looking at gender and youth employment in Africa. Week two, we'll be looking at module two that is focused on empowered youth as partners in achieving gender equality. While for week, four, uh, week three, four, and five, 
We will be looking at data and gender and knowledge generation on youth and gender equality, reconciling the worth of work and care and women's employment as a lever for economic development and social inclusion respectively. So for each week and under each module, you'll be given some materials for your additional readings with links where you can get them. And then you'll have opportunity to submit your assignments and then take the quiz after each module before you can proceed to the next one. Then immediately after the five weeks, you will have some days for you to prepare to take the final exams. And within this period, if there are still outstanding assignments uh, to be submitted, you are free to submit them at that point. But it's expected that you would have submitted your assignment within each week uh, that each module is to be covered. And then you take the final exams and receive your certificates. Uh, let me say at this point that as the course director, I'll really be excited and I would want to encourage you to, yes, the course is, the modules have been done in such an intensive way, but also very uh, user-friendly. Uh, I will encourage you to stay to the end of the five weeks because your being here is important to Africa, is important to us. We want to see how you can learn from us while we also learn from you on how we can deliver better on gender, youth, employment, and social inclusion for women, young people, and persons with disability across the African continent. For the introductory module, we will be looking at the list of abbreviations and acronyms, definition of terms, gender, youth, employment, and social inclusion. That's this course, giving an overview of it emerging issues, the theory, the theory of change that guides us in the course, then you have opportunity to have the references in the lecture material. For the list of abbreviations and acronyms, you're already familiar with some of them. Uh, some are highlighted here. For instance, we have APAE, which is the African Plan of Action for Youth Empowerment, a very strategic document that I will encourage you to have access to. We have needs, meaning youth not in education, not in employment, or not in training. And then we have TVET, Technical and Vocational Education and Training, and TVSD, Technical and Vocational Skills Development. For the definition of terms, when you get the introductory modules lecture notes in MS Word version, you will get to more details on other definite of other terms that have been defined. But here, I will be looking at uh, decent work as productive work for women and men in conditions of freedom, equity, security, and human dignity. Social inclusion as the process by which efforts are made to ensure equal opportunities that everyone, regardless of their background, can achieve their full potentials in life. While social protection is a set of public measures that a society provides for its members to protect them against economic and social distress caused by the absence or a substantial reduction of income from work as a result of various contingencies the provision of health care and provisions of benefits for families with children. As you already know, this course is being done by IDEP in collaboration with Serona and UN Women. Serona will be joining us for the module one. Why for modules four and five, we will have opportunity to look at the uh, women within the context, uh, context of what, what of what care, uh, what of care, and then social protection. So we will have enough opportunity for us to dive more into this conversation, especially during the online discussions and the live classes. Now for the overview of the gender, youth, employment, and social inclusion, we're leveraging World Bank's conceptual framework on youth employment, which identifies six main constraints that affect both women and youth, and they include 
skills, capital, networks, time, and family form formation, as well as occupational choice and safety. A large majority of employed women work in vulnerable employment. According to UN Women, women lack access to decent work, face occupational segregation and gender weight gaps, are too often de denied access to basic education and healthcare, suffer violence and discrimination, and are often underrepresented in political and economic decision-making processes. Therefore, addressing gender disparities in the employment, opportunities, and economic activities, and stimulating gender and social inclusive youth employment is very important to enable Africa in terms of our transformation and progress. And this is one of the reasons why this online course is being undertaken. Emerging issues. We will be looking at some emerging issues and trends on gender youth employment and social inclusion in order to develop a comprehensive and exciting content that can help us explore innovative ways for ensuring inclusive and gender-friendly youth employment programming, policy making, administration, and evaluation. The course modules have been designed in such a way as to spur you towards undertaking concrete actions at your organizational, community, um, country, and of course, Africa continental level to promote gender youth employment and social inclusion. For our theory of change for this Jesse course, we are leveraging five pillars. The first one being that young people are a dynamic population with huge resources and potentials that can be tapped and harnessed for Africa's development. Youth unemployment is ad adequately addressed in developmental planning, policy administration, and program in favor of women and youth at all levels. Let me emphasize here that after your participation in this course, it's expected that at your organizational, community, and country levels, even uh, beyond, you would have been able to start influencing policies to help address issues around youth and unemployment so that more opportunities can be promoted to encourage youth employability and youth employment. The third pillar looks at youth and women as not being treated as a homogeneous group, rather programs, policies, and actions are contextualized and target specific and seek to address the core needs and aspirations of women and youth at all levels and in all circumstances, using a gender sensitive approach that leaves no one behind in line with the SDG principle. Gender and social inclusion are mainstream in employment and socioeconomic interventions across Africa from what you must have gained from this course. And then we envisage a continent where women and young people are able to realize their full potentials and are free from all forms of gender-based discrimination and social exclusion and are able to enhance their personal, family, community, and societal development. Congratulations for completing this introductory module. Um, before we move to module one, I want to really appreciate you for undertaking this course. And uh, I want to encourage you to actively participate. This is not going to be a one-way track. Um, the course has been done in such a way that we will have opportunity. Each week we will have live class for each module, hopefully. That's apart from the lecture material you'll be getting alongside the, the PowerPoints. The, you also have opportunity to get the materials for the further reading, the, the assignments for each week. And then we encourage you we need your expertise. We need your experience sharing that can help us because at the end of this course, as the course director, I will be collating all the submitted assignments 
and arrange them in such a way that from the policy briefs, we will be encouraging UN on what to do in terms of influencing policy change. Uh, using the strategy documents that you will submit, we'll be looking at action planning and strategies that can help reposition Africa to deliver on this. So you can see that we need everyone's active participation. And as I said earlier, I will be available to take you through this course. And because this course is being done in both English and French languages, um, we have a course tutor, uh, Monsieur Ngagne Dia, who will be supporting me to coordinate the Francophone team. So for every assignment given, the Francophone team are meant to submit their assignment directly to his email via Ngagne Dia at gmail.com while the anglophone speakers are meant to submit theirs directly to me. The platform has also been designed in such a way that uh, the, both the anglophone and the francophone have their platform to, to engage. So at this point, I'd like to encourage you to proceed to module one lecture notes and slides, but please remember to perform the tasks needed for each module as you go along. Good luck as you proceed. Thank you.